I only have one go at this, so it better not go sideways. So I got the version 2 of the enclosure for the power delivery for the Modbus. Now, I want to uh, waterproof it, well, kinda. Dust proof it, maybe some moisture proof it. So, to protect the Ethernet cable, I, I designed these little uh, hooks and I can insert a part of a, uh, what you call it, raft with a little notch. And this will go in here. Okay, it will literally go inside. And hopefully you can see this, that the cable goes in. So this creates like a barrier. So now I will be able to pour in Let's make sure it's nice and tight, okay? So I got the glue gun, okay? Because it's nice and easy, hopefully. And I'm gonna pour in the glue if uh, this decides to work today, okay? I am gonna try and pour this in. Oh, the glue is getting used super quickly. And hopefully, this will not spill out. No, it didn't. And I will get to... Uh... Oh, yes, made sure it gets in here. Okay, that got in there. That's nice, nice and hot. Oh, I still got some. Okay, cool. Okay, I think we got... Oh, it's so hot, Jesus. I think I got to the top. Yeah, and uh, this is the general idea. Okay, now this should, this should be sealed off quite well. It needs to cool down. I might use the remaining bit from the... Uh, from the raft as a spatula. <laughs> this is going so well, I can tell. And uh, this should be enough to make it, well, dust proof at least. And the same should go now for the uh, power cables. So let's see if I have enough no, not really, but I have another of these, so that should go really well. Oh, yeah, that went in. Okay, I can use the spatula, the DIY spatula, and just iron these out. Okay, that's good. Not sure if I should apply any here, but let's do some. Let's do just a wee bit just to be on the safe side it's very hot so it literally just melts away okay that looks good enough for me i don't have to push it any further so now i will wait for it to cool down but as you can tell here yeah it's probably nice and tight of a seal and even here for the ethernet cable it's gonna cool down it's not gonna go anywhere. I don't know if I need to remove this at all. Uh, I might keep it. It doesn't bother me or it doesn't make any impact on how it actually works. So yeah, let me uh, wait for it to cool down. Hopefully it didn't destroy the ETH in the table and I'll see later on if it actually worked as I intended. So yeah, that's it. This is a DIY way to uh, kind of seal off the enclosure. Again, you'll see these uh, this rubber gasket here, I'll be applying some pressure, it'll create some uh, dust proofness, waterproofness. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.